Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. And always a reminder for myself and Abdukal Ajis of Da'ifu, Miskeen, Zalim, Jahal. <coughs> but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us to enter into the month of Safar. And the importance of the lunar months and the Islamic months, these are the dress of the Islamic Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad And the Safar is the month of Subhana man alimul hakim, glory be to the one whom is all-knowing and all-wise. And in this way of Shamsul Arifin, this is the month of the second lunar month that opens the reality of Surah Al-Kahf because this is based on the power of nine. The first lunar month and the reality of nine and Surah Tawbah. The second lunar month opens the second nine of Holy Qur'an becomes the 18th Surah and the reality of Surah Al-Kahf and its dress upon mankind. And the beginning of the Surah that we went over was about manners and the companions of the cave. And they had a dog that followed them and they threw rocks at the dog to go away and the dog was consistent and stayed the path, istiqam that was firm upon the path and Allah gave a miraculous character to the dog in which it stood up and spoke to the companions that I'm not stopping and that you'll find a need for me that you go and serve Allah and that I'll be of service to you and to be of service to this authority. And that was the purpose of tariqahs, the tariqahs take from Surat Al-Kahf, Divinely Manners. The etiquette is not designed by shaykhs out of their imagination but it's etiquette of Holy Qur'an on how to accompany the men and women of God, means those whom are rijal in which the actions and deeds and the realities upon their soul. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Has a manner and etiquette defined by Allah and Surat Al-Kahf is the book of these manners. And they come to teach us that these Ashab al-Kahf, the companions of the cave, inspired to leave that which these people worship. And we said, now very relevant. So Qur'an is not a storybook of old, old stories but very relevant for any moment in time. And our moment in time is almost identical to Ashab al-Kahf in which their authority is claiming divinity. That's when Allah used the word Rabb. We went into the word of Rabb and that it defines authority and not divine. And describes that their authority decided to call himself divine and that if they stood any further with that individual they would have come against Allah 
And we see that now prevalent in this world. The only religion of Allah is Islam. So very much relevant to the times in which we live and that if you don't accept that authority they deem that they will take you away. <coughs> and what Allah gave for us is a prescription, run from them and that which they worship. And take yourself to the cave and in that cave Allah will send a rahmah and a mercy. And awliyaullah's hearts that are connected to Sayyidina Muhammad they're giving to us that the cave is always symbolic of the heart. That the hijrah began with Prophet and Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq to run to the cave which is the prophetic heart, the come come into the prophetic heart that we're not alone Allah is with us. Anyone that goes into the cave with Prophet is not alone, Allah is with them because Allah says, I'm with Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin and this is the best of company. So it opens for us that, what is A'uzu Billah? In every action of our life how are we going to seek refuge in Allah from the accursed? The only refuge in Allah is in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Because where on this earth can you run that you think you're with Allah? Right? Because anywhere you go shaitan is there. But Allah gave to us, run to Sayyidina Muhammad There shaitan won't come because the truth and the falsehood they don't mix. And falsehood by its nature zahukan, it crumbles in the face of Prophet So the whole system of tariqah is to safeguard us. So in my life from the deceit that is opening, I need to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Hadirul Nadir, he's ever present and ever witnessing. More powerful than the power you give to the devil because everybody believes the devil's everywhere, right? But devil takes his from Izzatullah, Izzat Rasul wa Izzat mu'mineen that power to make him everywhere, he's taking from the power and authority of Allah the power and authority of Sayyidina Muhammad and the power and authority of Ulul Am and Awliya. So the one whom is giving him power has more power. So Prophet's soul is everywhere, we just have to keep the company. So the tariqah comes and then teaches, well how then to keep the company so that I'm safe, my family's safe and my community's safe. And then Prophet gave to us a hadith, you will be with whom you love. Every question has an answer from Sayyidina Muhammad You'll be with whom you love, better love the right people. You turn around and you look at and say, these are not the people I love, so why are you with them? But it gives us the solution. If you want to be with Sayyidina Muhammad increase your love. For Maqam al-Iman he told Sayyidina Umar Ya Umar you have to love me more than you love yourself and your son and your family and your possessions. And tariqah's whole path is now to define that. I have to live a life in which to love Sayyidina Muhammad One day more than myself, this is my goal. Every importance that I put upon myself, everybody loves everything for themselves, 
they take the best care of themselves. Nobody even has to be taught that. They eat the best, they do the best, they want the best for themselves. Tariqah comes and teaches, well why don't you want that for Sayyidina Muhammad Means to change the focus of love. We think if we love ourselves, we'll give to ourselves and then it becomes self-worship. And then we're surprised that Allah's madad and support not with us. And we have to try to resolve everything. But what Allah gave to us and what Prophet taught his companions, you focus on me, Allah will focus on you. Because Prophet is the religion, is the deen. That you focus on your deen, but they come and be very specific, what's your deen? Your deen without Prophet well then you could be anybody. Because La ilaha illallah is not going to accomplish the key without Muhammadun Rasulullah So then our life very simplified was to focus on Prophet how to do the durood, how to make the salawat, how to increase the love. What did Prophet love? Adabin al Rabbi fa ahsanu fi tahdeeb. That Allah sent me to perfect your manners and character. So, what's dear to Prophet manners, good character, not knowledge. Not scholarships and muftis and hafiz and whatever these people think they are, it's not of any importance without manners. So then manners becomes the foundation of the entire system to gain the love and the admiration of Sayyidina Muhammad to us. So when we have good manners and good character, that's what the Ashab al Kahf was teaching us. That's why Allah gave the example of throwing stones at a dog. If a dog can get to a paradise reality and be of Divinely service, then we have to rank at least a little bit better than a dog in our life. The Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, I want to come into your service, find my Ulul Amr and I want to live a life of service control your character. Because you can't accompany them angry, you can't accompany them cheating, stealing, you can't accompany them with all the bad characteristics. So then the schools of tariqah are come and take a way in which to perfect your character. If the servant of Allah has good character, good manners, loving nature, Allah will teach him, doesn't need a school to teach him. Ittaqullah wa alimukumullah. This Qur'an is telling us, a Qur'anic system, not a man-made system and it's not for everybody. The 90% they go the other route. They take courses and classes and study and the study and the knowledge that they achieve without good manners produces the mass of arrogant people. Memorized three hadiths and became an oppressor to people, terrorizing and tormenting people. But for khawas and those whom Allah chose a different way in which what? Attained a rahmah and then we taught him ilma laduni. Because Surat al Kahf now takes us to that event. Verse 60 starts the relationship of one of those servants by the name of Sayyidina Abbas Khidr. And Allah gives to us just one of my servants like this whom attained the rahmah, right? Not mufti first, but attained the rahmah 
And then we taught him knowledges, ilma laduni, not uh, accounting and uh, English major. Because it's not low level but Allah is describing, no, no, with this rahmah we teach this servant. One of them, so there must be many of them that are of this category, this is their academia, set by Allah This is the, the guidance from Allah Surah Al Kahf that attained the rahmah and that's why awliya come and say, what is the rahmah of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad rahmatan lil alameen, Nabi rahmah Fatah rahmah Anyone who wants anything from Allah it must be encapsulated in the reality of Prophet because we are the people of creation. So what is the most merciful understanding of creation? So, oh my neighbour, oh my grandmother, no Sayyidina Muhammad must be the example for Allah Say, Allah is most merciful but that's not for you and me. We only know that mercy because Allah created Prophet I would not have sent him except that he was a mercy to mankind. So never over exaggerate and, and give for Allah's title because that's not us to talk so high. But what Allah wants for us to understand is the mercy on your creation, on your earth and in your planets and your universes and galaxies, its best symbol is Sayyidina Muhammad So then we had to attain that rahmah so that Allah would teach us. Why? Because this knowledge has power, this knowledge has authority heavenly and Divinely authority. And as a result Allah wants to make sure that you attain the rahmah, you kept the companionship of Sayyidina Muhammad and that he signs off on you, that this is one whom loves me, trying to love me more than he loves himself, he loves me and I love him. And Prophet described to holy companions, there's a group coming in the last days. They have not seen me but they would give everything and anything for one glimpse of me. They love me and I love them and the companions became jealous. So I thought, we're the lovers, So no you're my sahabi. Day and night you're with me, of course you're going to love me. But they have not seen me, means what a state of love they were trained, how much ishq they have and then Prophet giving to us that, I love them, these are my muhibeen and ashiqeen. So in the last days there's a title given by Prophet that, my muhibeen. They love me and I love them. They don't question my birth but that doesn't seem to be very loving. Tomorrow is Bilal's birthday, who? Who cares? Why do I have to celebrate Bilal's birthday? I wouldn't be very loving if I talk like that. It's like I don't even care that you came on this earth or not. So that can't be them who talk like that. Why do you have to do so many salawats? Well that can't be them either. This one whom Prophet is describing, they love me and I love them. Means they reached nuclear fusion, which is the one that you don't split, fusion, right? The fission you make an energy and every, everywhere you made a mess. But this power is that when you reach to this Divinely love, Prophet says, they love me, he took that love. Now he's going to multiply it by his holy reality and I love them. 
and I send back a Qudra, a Nazar, an energy. And they become more and more powerful with their love. And then you unlock the reality of why Prophet described, my companions are like stars on a dark night. Why? Because he's describing love. I love them, they love me. So of course anyone who enters into this Divinely fusion is going to be more powerful than a star because they give the little light they have in the big heart that they own and Prophet takes it and multiplies it. By what Allah remember me and I remember you in a higher association. Because Allah is multiplying whatever Prophet is doing. Taking that love, that ish, that good character and then through a Divinely source raising it, dressing it, blessing it and tanzira rahmah and become the rain of barakah and blessing that dresses the soul of that individual, his children, family and community. Because it's a rain of mercy that escapes no one, doesn't shower just on individuals that he likes. There is a continuous rain of mercy from the love of Sayyidina Muhammad upon these souls. And Allah describes that where they go rain comes, barakah comes, blessing comes, why? Because they're like… Uh, emanations of light and rain from Divinely Presence because the nazar of Prophet is upon them, loving them that they love me and I love them. And Prophet's love is Allah's Divinely love, pure with immense lights. What lights? Because what Prophet represents? Lights of Qur'an, not the light you try to achieve by reading two verses but the light that Prophet pours into your heart because he loves you. So how he describes Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq as he's more than you not because of a station but for what Allah has poured into his heart. Why? Because his love for Sayyidina Muhammad The Khalil gets the gift from Allah So and anywhere we look the Holy Companions were an example of that. That all that you want to love in the world is never going to give you the gift like this. If you love Prophet Allah will love you. This was the level of Prophet loving you. His, his bounty of love fills you. What Allah said, قُلِنِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِيُونِ يُهِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ Tell them, now this is Allah maximizing the reward, tell them, if they want My love فَاتَّبِيُونِ they must follow you. In body and spirit, because that ayah is not for only companions of Prophet but what are we going to say, oh it's not for us? No, in body and in spirit, Qur'an is alive and Allah fattabi'uni, your whole life follow Prophet By what? By good character, love, respect and good manners. Don't know anything but be good in your character, Allah will perfect everything. But you go study a little bit and come back to be obnoxious, it's not needed by anyone. So that's why in the last days they don't want. They don't want somebody coming and trying to memorize two things and then the rest they won't learn, the rest they're going to fill with ag- er- ignorance and arrogance and then begin to battle the reality. This love of fatabiuni, Allah I will love them. And if I love them, Ghafur Rahim, I forgive them. Why? How can Allah have something He wants to punish but be with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad by virtue of the companionship of this love 
Allah will forgive the servant. Because this is Allah's love, I love him so much how I'm going to punish you and give you what you really deserve. But you're accompanying Sayyidina Muhammad So this was an immense rahmah, immense mercy. That by virtue of this companionship you chose, this love that you chose, the best of Allah's treasures you chose, Allah forgives the servant and begins to clean. Push the angels, inspire the servant to be good. So that he's worthy of this station of love I'm putting within their hearts and their khuluq and their characters change. They can make a crook a saint just by love. That's what we have in Rajab, right? The du'as of Rajab makes a crook a saint, right? Because if he enters into the ocean of love his crookery is gone. It's not hard for Allah We're not even noticeable in the epsilon of this universe, this earth is not even visible. Imagine your sin, there's always one wipe and it's gone. But if the foundation is correct, why to wipe it? Because I love your most beloved, make me to be worthy of that love. So that Prophet is not ashamed by my presence. That, oh look this one my ashiqeen look how crazy he is, we're going everywhere doing these crazy things. By virtue of that Allah begin to wipe and clean because I only want that which is beautiful with my beloved love of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why the tariqahs have khuluq and character. If you come to one of the right ones you should see the people very loving like inhabitants of paradise. That's not true for anywhere else, you go to many masjids and they'll pickpocket you in the middle of your salah. I see videos on social media, guys in sujood somebody stealing <laughs> first. What happened to khuluq? Yeah. This is why the importance of these realities and these manners. As a result Allah now gave a different example. The school's entry, even a dog can enter. A sabr kaf, the dog. So nobody says, oh I can't go, those are all like you know righteous people. Absolutely not. The entry can be a dog as long as it has nice manners. If the dog plans on biting you every week it will be thrown out. Right? Because the dog is going to eat you in the middle of your worship. But the entry was very low, very easy by Allah So then who are these people that make everything difficult? They are Hezb shaitan and they work for shaitan. Why? Because shaitan doesn't want anyone to enter Islam. He wants those for himself. They're busy taking people to the devil and others are busy trying to take people to paradise. So in the adab of Surat al-Kahf Allah said, even a doe can enter into this reality so they can become like Ashab al-Kahf, be of service, be loyal. Now on the other level Sayyidina Musa salam and Sayyidina Khidr Is that if anyone can get in, Allah says, I don't care about the title and status that you have once you're in. So he speaks to Allah but he's still in need of something. So it means there is no status and title that's so high that says, you don't need to be taught, which is unimaginable. Because in this day and age you can't get a single scholar to listen to a haqqaiq. 
oh, I got my license here, got my mufti here, I got like this here. And Allah is sending Kalimullah that speaks to Allah Put into his heart, seek out one of my servants. After what he witnessed of the glory of Allah that, Ya Rabbi let me see you, he said, you can't see me, you'll see my glory. And all awliya, all ulama, ahl sunnah say he saw the Muhammadan light. And as a result of that khashf and seeing that reality that's it, I want where the two rivers meet and even if I spend my lifetime seeking that reality. Sayyidina Khidr represents as the Muhammadan haqqaiqs, the two rivers, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah And the one whom speaks to Allah departed upon his journey. That what you gave me of risalat not satisfying, I want where these two rivers meet. We won't go into the whole meeting that we said for tomorrow and start going into that subject. But what happened then when he set out for that meeting? They had taken a fish for eating. They came to a rock, Yeshua, his inheritor and the one whom was taking care and serving put the dried fish upon a rock to prepare a lunch, they got busy with things and left. When he said, let's eat, I'm hungry, he said, it was ajeeb, shaitan made me to forget. When I put our lunch out, the fish came to life and jumped into the water. And then realizes that was the sign I was looking for. Where the dead fish come to life, fish is what? The symbol of the soul, <coughs> right? A fish is a symbol of a soul that wants to be in Allah's oceans of rahmah and mercy and can never drink enough. Mawlana Shaykh described that, make yourself like a fish. If you ever look at the fish it wants to drink the entire ocean with every bite. Take from Allah's rahmah immense as much as you can. No need to be cheap with Allah's rahmah, say, I just want a little. Say, Ya Rabbi, I want your entire oceans of rahmah and mercy and knowledges. That when Sayyidina Musa salam was setting out to meet one of these servants, is the unseen Prophet of Allah Because had he been standing there, he would have seen him. Oh, you're Sayyidina Khidam, Musa waiting to meet you. <laughs> when Allah is giving the understanding in Qur'an that he was looking for a sign of the presence of Sayyidina Khidr and that he represents an unseen Prophet of Allah and as a result of passing that reality, Nabi Musa realized we were going too fast. And this is what we talked about last year at this moment. Because how this relates with us in life is that we're moving too fast for the signs of Allah If you're going fast like that, if Sayyidina Musa who speaks to Allah missed the sign. We don't stand a chance. So it means our life has to be slowed down. Meditation and contemplation has to be slowed down. Exactly what Sayyidina Musa salam asked that we have to turn around and this time let's go a little bit slower to find. They went back to where they were looking until his heart could identify the hidden servant of Allah that remained hidden, that nobody saw him except the heart of Sayyidina Musa 
سبحان ربی و رب العزت اما یسیفون و سلام و نرمرسلین و الحمدلله رب العالمین به حرمت محمد المصطفی به سیر سورت الفاتحه Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching Inshallah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.